Reading students, this lesson will focus on the formatting of the theoretical and conceptual framework of your research. Within these lessons, the important concepts related to these topics will be presented. First, let us define the concept of a theory. What is a theory? The word theory is derived from the Greek word theoria, which means vision. A theory is a conceptual idea that is used to describe, explain, predict, or understand a certain phenomenon. It defines non-observable constructs that are inferred from observable facts and events that are thought to have an effect on the phenomenon under study. Theory describes a relationship or relationships among variables for purposes of explaining a current state or predicting future events. Now that we have a basic idea of what a theory is, we will now define the theoretical framework. The theoretical framework which may be formulated from an existing theory or theories serves as the foundation of the study. In such case, the paradigm that is originally used by the theorist can be fully adopted in the current study. It can also be adapted since the researcher can add or subtract variables from the original framework, provided that the whole theory is utilized. Formulating the theoretical framework is one of the foremost tasks that a researcher must perform in order to conduct a research study. Performing this task ensures that the research is grounded on empirical evidence and sound academic theories and principles. To make a theoretical framework, a researcher should perform the following tasks. First, the researcher cites and discusses related theories that serve as the foundation of the variables and their relationships to make the study more scientific and understandable, especially to the readers. In doing this, relevant theories must be provided. Then, the researcher mentions theories, including the names of the authors, titles of their theories, theoretical principles, and their explanations. Lastly, the concluding portion states the relationship of the theory to the researcher's work. Aside from the theoretical framework, the researcher can also utilize the conceptual framework as a basis of conducting the research. A conceptual framework is the explanation of the scope and range of a concept or construct. It can be done even without a theory or, in some cases, with a combination of two or more theories, which led to a researcher's formulated framework. It is largely based on the theories or parts of theory combined with other parts of another theory or on the intellectual synthesis of the various readings of the researcher. It guides the researcher by giving clear directions to the research. There are five common models used in constructing the conceptual framework. These models are the input process output model, the independent dependent variable model, the predictor criterion variable model, the P model, and the proposed original model. The input process output model is largely used when the research attempts to isolate the factor or major variables that causes the problem, subject, or phenomenon under investigation. This model is used when the statement of the problem are all factor isolating questions. The independent and dependent variable model is used in an experiment based studies. The questions raised are higher order and classified as situation relating questions. The predictor criterion model is used when relating and assessing the influence between two or more variables. Studies that focus on relationships, associations, differences, and in fact will benefit from this model. The P model is used in research studies that propose a program or any intervention measure. It fits the situation producing level of questioning. The proposed original model is used when the researcher presents an original paradigm. The requirement to realize this model is that the ideas presented should be scientific. Explosion. Oh. 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 Oh.